Hey everybody, how's it going? So in a recent video that I did on the whole indoor-outdoor dining debacle, I was showing you all these spaces for outdoor dining that were pretty much... There was an indoor structure that they built outside. You know, you had doors, you had locks, you had windows, you had ceilings, you had everything. And one of the things that I mentioned is that in New York City, if you don't put something behind a gate, it will be stolen or destroyed. I was mentioning this after the protests and then the riots last May and June, that I found it really weird that you had all these New York City stores with expensive stuff in Manhattan that did not have a gate. Because they had doors and windows, but that's easy to break through. You should have a gate in New York City. And as you can see here, this is the next natural progression, where you have the indoor outdoor structure, it, it's gone from going to have a door to finally having a gate like the actual restaurant itself. And I found this funny because in my experience, the cost of a gate itself is actually, in this situation, seemingly more than what's being protected. So you have a gate that's probably one to $2,000, and behind it you have what looks like cheap old stairs, uh, chairs, and stools. Uh, I would pro guess probably costs less than the actual gate. And... I do have to appreciate what they did here. They are following science because it is science that in New York City, if you put something outside and you don't have it locked up, it will be stolen. And that's it for today. And as always, I hope you learned something. Uh, yeah, this is, is kind of getting ridiculous. It's just funnier and funnier with each passing day. Uh, more and more ridiculous. And one thing you may also notice is that there's nobody out here. You may wonder, why is there nobody out here? Why is nobody eating? That's because it is 24 degrees. And people typically don't want to spend 20... They don't want to spend 20 bucks on lunch when they have to eat that lunch outside in 24 degrees. Hell, my hand is freezing just holding the camera to do this video. Anyway... Love, lovely place to live. Lovely place to do business, isn't it? All right, so here, check this out. I just figured I'd show you some more science while we're on the topic today. This place does not have a gate, so they are kind of tempting fate here. But they do have a little lock on the door of their completely not indoor, totally outdoor structure. And you got a lock, you got a door, you got a window, and you got a ceiling. And so I, I rate this 10 out of 10 indoors however it's outside so it's not outdoor wait 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. i screwed up never mind never mind i check it out i screwed up check it out this is outdoors see that i could fit my hand through there so that means that that's actually outdoors it's almost like you could achieve that by opening the window and the door but Cuomo de blasio are not going to allow that but they'll allow this I actually got to speak to the guy at the other place right after my video was done. And apparently he paid about 1100 bucks for the gate. And I was kind of curious, you know, why, why pay 1100 for a gate to cover, protect 100 or 200 bucks of furniture? And what I was missing, which was clearly obvious, and I missed it because I was being a moron, is that the, even though it's only $100 or 200 of furniture... What if you have to pay that every day? So if he protects it, within a week and a half, it'll pay for itself because you don't want to have to pay two to $500 every single day for furniture. So even though the $1,100 gate is only protecting 100 to 200 bucks worth of some used, beat-up looking furniture, he doesn't have to purchase new furniture every single day. So the gate does indeed make sense at that point for your indoor-outdoor structure, which has uh, also... I think this is funny that someone wrote communism is here right on this sign. I actually... Honestly, I honestly think having a mask on when you enter a store, that's fine. That's a more than, that's a reasonable ask. I have no problem with it as long as the people are putting the mask above the nose and not doing the dumbass Chuck Schumer thing where they wear it below the nose in spite of being the most powerful person in the country. But the one thing I don't get, I just don't understand where this is okay, but people being inside with the doors and windows open is not. It just blows my mind how this is science. And like, I, I should correct myself. I should correct myself. I shouldn't slander science in that way. This is New York science. This is not real science. This is Cuomo de Blasio science. I shouldn't slander science by calling this clusterfuck created by our dumbass politicians science. This is de Blasio science. And it's everywhere. And it's just absolutely hysterical. I honestly like the decorating here. I like the flowers. I like the way they decorated and made everything look nice. And it really is... It's, it's, it's not an eyesore, and I have to say that I appreciate that. It's very well done. You know what? We're going to be off and going home. Everybody say hi to Erica. Erica, say hi. And we say bye. That's it for today, and as always, I hope you learned something.